Welcome back. Okay, so today we're looking at newer Doctor Who and various other releases. So we start off with Series 1, which 2005, when the show came back from a rather long hiatus. Uh, and uh, Chris Eccleton, even though he only did one series, actually was a promising Doctor. It's too bad he uh, didn't stick on for longer than that, but I guess there were a lot of other issues involved. Okay, then we have Doctor Who, the complete second series, which obviously introduces David Tennant to the role, and the sidekick Billy Piper, Rose. These, I've watched uh, the newer Doctor Who DVD sets by far more than any other uh, DVD set in my collection. Then from there on we go to the third series, which introduces us to the character of Martha Jones as the Doctor's companion. This one may actually be my personal favorite of uh, the series since the show came back. And then, go on to David Tennant's last regular series as the Doctor, Doctor Who, the complete fourth series on DVD. And then here you'll see there's some duplicates. Um, here's the original release of the next Doctor, which is later released in the complete series or the complete specials box set, but I decided just to keep the original one anyway. Then next we have. Dreamland, one of the animated adventures, and the other animated adventure, which is not that good, it is, there we go, Doctor Who, The Infinite Quest, and this was the first Doctor Who Blu-ray release, Planet of the Dead, several years ago I did a uh, unboxing video well, this one was unboxing or review, I can't quite remember at this point. There we go. And then, on to Doctor Who, the complete specials. So this was the first full Doctor Who Blu-ray set. And this also featured the end of uh, David Tennant's run as the Doctor. Then we're on to the second full Blu-ray set, Doctor Who, the fifth series. Which, of course, brings in Doctor Number 11 and Amy Pond. And it's got kind of this yeah, action cover there. And then we have three individual package Blu-rays. So we have Doctor Who A Christmas Carol, Doctor Who Series 6 Part 1, and Doctor Who Series 6 Part 2. So these have been re since uh, released as a uh, box set, but I uh, just haven't had the funds yet to pick it up. Um, when it came out, it came out the same day as this one. I already had the other two. And I could afford the uh, 15 bucks or whatever it was for this one, but did not quite have the $80 that they were asking for the full set. So at some point, I will upgrade that into the full season set. Then, last but not least, we have Torchwood, and actually Series 2 is actually not on the shelf right now, it's actually in the back room, so apologies for that. Uh, complete first season on DVD, I have the second season on DVD, they've since been re-released on Blu-ray. Doctor Who, Children of Earth, uh, Blu-ray release from 2009. And then, of course, the Region 3 release of Doctor Who Miracle Day. And there you have it. My complete Doctor Who collection as it stands at the end of June 2012. So, as always, everyone, thank you for watching, and have a great day.